Bill in Columbus, Ohio. What is it about a dedicated CD transport that is different than just using the optical output from a regular CD player? This assumes both CD player and DAC are feeding Toslink optical into the same DAC. What is it that a good transport does that is different from the CD player? When looking at the cost comparisons, you get a cheap CD player with an optical out for far less than the hi-fi vendors sell a CD transport for. Boy, ain't that right, huh? No kidding, yeah. And, you know, I've told people, when it comes to priorities, always choose to get the best DAC you can before you spend money on getting the best transport you can. Because a great transport really makes a difference between what you're talking about, the optical or the coax RCA output on a cheap CD player, it's easy to demonstrate. If we bring a cheap CD player here and play a CD into the DirectStream DAC versus our transport, which is really expensive, and you can absolutely hear the difference. Yep, boom. But in the scheme of things, in the grand scheme, as they say, the DAC makes a huge difference, and the transport makes a big difference. Huge, big. And if I only had X number of dollars to spend on a digital audio system, I would put every dime I had into the best DAC I could possibly get, because that, that makes a huge difference. And then, if I want to play CDs, I go down to Target, pick up a Blu-ray player, SACD player for 30 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it is, and use that digital output and be happy as a clam. And someday you can upgrade or go to a streamer and, and be done with it, right? Okay, so that's the advice stage. What's different? Well, the digital output on a $30 CD player, right? we'll just we'll pick on $30 CD players today, uh, it, it, it's fine. It puts out SPDIF, which is the, uh, the Sony Philips digital interface. It has a lot of jitter. It, um, you know, I mean, and, and much of it depends on how your DAC handles that. Because, so, a, a tra like you buy transport from us, what comes out of that is near perfect. No jitter. It's all been reclocked. It's rebuilt. It's, uh, what comes out of that is a perfect digital waveform that carries the uh, everything on that digital data without any kind of jitter. If you buy something at Target and hook it up, that's going to be jitter filled because they're not paying any attention to that. They don't wh why would they, right? That digital output by the way was originally there when CD players first came out to do cover art. That was originally Old CDs had cover art on them, and you hooked that up to a television, <laughs> and if you had the right little decoder, you'd see cover art. That's what it was there for. It happened to have the digital audio signal as well. So that's the difference is in the way the data is handled and the way the data is presented. In a cheap CD player, it's, it's just coming out you know, two or three hundred picoseconds of jitter were coming out of our transports, probably two or three picoseconds. And that can make a lot of difference. And in noise, jitter, all that kind of good stuff. So hope that helps. Okay. Thanks. Bye. <music>